Thanks to the explosive force of cannon fire, the French were close to victory in this century-long war. But in a final grasp of power, the English dispatched a fresh army equipped with their tried and tested longbows. Formigny would be a trial of old versus new to determine the fate of France. English commander Sir Thomas Curiel sent a large expedition to crush the French in Normandy. The village of Carentin was directly in their path. Massively outnumbered, the French skirmishes near Carentin would give their lives to weaken the English. Though they fought bravely, the French skirmishers could only slow the English advance. The main body of the French army finally arrived in the river valley. The French now needed to locate and destroy the English army, but they would face a well-entrenched enemy with several local garrisons. French forces found a detachment of the English army attacking the town of Vallon. If they could stop the attack, they might gain valuable resources. Allons, 
the citizens moved to support the French army. The English base at Saint Sauveur fell to the French forces, but the enemy army was still at large. Je 
Oui. Ancelon et Ridon. Voyez bien, j'attends Géride incontinent. Ainsi soit. Je sais que son Géride à part main. Je fais votre commandement. Voyez bien, nous délaissons ces stuilieux. L'ennemi ne fait pas de longue traîne. J'attends votre estime et bien clair. Selon votre commandement, une joyeuse coursée. Ainsi soit fait. Ancelon et Ridon. Giride incontinent. Votre estite est bien clair. Prêt pour les commandements. Je vais en avant. Vous goûtez les douze je vais devant. Ridez derrière. Que sont pieds vos Samoué Giride à part main. Voyez bien les commandements. Si vos plaît. Allons plus que le pas. J'attends. Ainsi soit fait. Une joyeuse. Voyez bien. Je vais devant. Ridez derrière. Avez-vous. J'y ride à part main. J'y ride pour les commandes. Allons plus que le pas. En avant. Reste tous en mesmi. The French forces located Kirill's English army at a river crossing near the town of Formigny. Que sont les corps qui sera fait selon votre commande Destrier Several of the Bureau brothers' heavy guns and other forces arrived to help. Les coustus, je fiche arrest. C'est l'ange de siège assis. Nous accomplissons vos ordonnances. Dois-je rider en selon et ridon? Votre estime est bien claire. Gérid incontinent. Avez-vous commandement pour moi Je voyais bien les commandements. Nous avons suivi l'engin, Souda. Even with their cannons, the French faced the difficult task of engaging the well-positioned English army. Les engins de engins de siège, ça a faut aller. Tout est en train de quasi assouvi. Les engins, les engins se meurent. La quartier est dégasté. Tout est ordonné. The French attacks succeeded in drawing the English front line out of position and across the river. Soyez 
suffering losses, the English front line retreated back across the river. The French received word that their Breton allies had arrived with their knights and horsemen. Now the two armies could coordinate. The Bretons saw an opportunity to attack the English from the back. As the Bretons attacked, the English had no choice but to pivot their front line, opening their flanks to attack from the French. Beset by the French and Bretons, the English beat a hasty retreat toward Formigny. The English survivors entered Formigny. The French would have to take this town to secure victory. The last English army destroyed and the gates of Formigny thrown open, the French force in Normandy was victorious. Their well-organized forces and superior firepower had brought the arduous Hundred Years' War closer to its conclusion. At Formigny, the roar of cannon fire sounded the death knell for England's ambitions in France. King Charles and the Bureau brothers did not let up on the offensive. And in 1453, the English retreated across the Channel. France was finally at peace. More than 100 years had passed since the first English chevauchés had scorched the land. The iconic French knights who fought in those early days would not have recognized their own military a century later. The English longbow, once the scourge of France, was no match for French artillery in the last years of the war. And by 1453, France's border looked very different, growing to encompass territories once claimed by England and their allies. After enduring a century of conflict, France emerged as a transformed nation. The country and its people had persevered and unified into a kingdom that could defend itself.
against all odds. France had won the Hundred Years' War.